Example 3.6. In this example, we have an airplane which flies at 200 miles per hour at an elevation of 10,000 feet in a standard atmosphere. We need to determine the pressure at point 1 far ahead from the airplane. We also need to determine the pressure at the stagnation point at the nose of the airplane, point 2. And we need to determine the pressure difference indicated by the pitostatic probe attached to the fuselage. In order to find that the value of the pressure at point one, we go to table C1 from the textbook and we'll look at altitude of 10,000 feet. So notice that we have in the table and then we could obtain the different values that we need. We find that the pressure is equal to 10.1008 uh, um, PSI. And we also find that the density is equal to 1.756 times 10 to the minus three slacks per feet. Cube. So those are the quantities that we will be using in our calculation. So these are the values obtained from table uh, C1. And to be consistent, we're going to transfer the PSI into pounds per feet square. So we just simply have P at point 1 is going to be equal to 14, 15 pounds per feet square. So now what we're going to do in order to find out the value of P2, which is the stagnation pressure, we're going to use Bernoulli equation. So we set up the difference between 0.1 and 0.2. We've got P1 plus 1 half rho V1 square plus gamma Z1 is equal to P2 plus 1 half rho V2 square plus gamma Z2. The information that we know about each point is the following. So for point one, we know the amount of the pressure. We know that we have an elevation Z1, and we have a velocity V1, which is equal to 200 miles per hour. Once again, to make units consistent, we're going to transfer this into feet per second, which is equal to 293 feet per second. Now let's write what information we have about point two. For point two, we have P2, which we don't know. That's what we're looking for, C2. And then we have V2. And because it's an stagnation point, the value of the velocity is equal to zero. One of the assumptions that we could have is that the airplane is, fly is flying horizontally. Therefore, the uh, value of Z1 and Z2 will be the same. If we substitute these quantities in this equation, we are able to get rid of these two terms and this one. Therefore, if we solve for P2, we find P2 is simply going to be P1 plus 1 half rho V1 squared. We get the value, we get P2 is going to be P1, which is 14, 15 pounds square feet plus one half the density which is 0 0.001756 slugs per feet cube times the velocity square so it's 293 feet per second square this value is going to be equal to 1490.4 uh, pounds Good feet square. The last part of the problem is to calculate the pressure difference indicated by the pitostatic probe. That is simply going to be the value between P2 minus P1, which is basically the difference between these two values, and that is equal to 75.4 pounds per feet square.